we are going to study today normal forms and one of the most important normal form is conjunctive normal form uh, why do we know normal form because there are too many symbols in our uh, in our logic for example you may have XOR we may have uh, implication equivalence and they can arbitrary structure over uh, logical connectors so what do we do we, we basically get rid of some of these symbols for example we can get rid of implication by applying this transformation similarly we can uh, transform uh, get rid of XORs by applying this transformation and we can get rid of equivalence by reusing the XOR uh, transformation and the, with the negation in front of the transformation For the ease of presentation, we assume that you can remove them at will. However, please note that these uh, XOR transformation and for equivalence introduces explosion in the formula size, which so which is not always desirable. Before understanding uh, conjunctive normal form, we need to understand a one more simpler kind of normal form, which is called negation normal form. Let's see what is negation normal form. The negation normal form, what do we now need is, is the negation symbol only appears in front of the propositional variables and nowhere else it is allowed to appear. And there is a theorem which says that if I give you any formula, you can transform it to another formula F prime so that both the formula are equivalent. How do we prove such a theorem? This th such theorem is proven by showing that you have a construction. If you have f, you can construct f prime. So how the construction works is that each time you have a negation in front of another symbol, for example, it is over R symbol. So what you can do, you can push negation inside and you can obtain P not P and not Q. Similarly, you can do this for every logical connector so therefore negation symbol can always be pushed inside for example uh, take uh, this formula here there is a negation setting on top and there is a simple implication we push this negation inside double negation gets automatically get cancelled and you get q and the negation of this this last sub, sub expression we continue we push this negation inside and we our negation get inside the XOR. When you push negation in XOR, you don't need to really apply negation in both of them, uh, only applying one of the argument of the XOR. Now you continue pushing this negation inside, and then you further you get inside R in symbol, and then you obtain this not P and not of not of S, and you continue further, and then you got the negation only on P. You may call this in as a uh, in a formula in a negation normal form. However, this is not universally agreed. Uh, some people may also want you to remove this XOR symbol from the negation normal form because if you look at the uh, previous slide, you will find that uh, XOR symbol also hides a negation symbol inside it. Sometimes it's advisable to also remove XOR symbol, and that may trigger formula blow up and then again a whole chain of uh, removal of uh, of negation symbol uh, a typical software that handles uh, logical formulas assume that the formula is negation normal form this is a very convenient form and uh, it explicates a lot of reasoning of the logic forward and without uh, and getting rid of a lot of complication in the formulas